Hi everyone, I'm Matt Hetherington here for a Yola Table Tennis Basics video. And in today's short video, we're gonna be going over the backhand topspin loop in four simple steps. The first step is to track and line up the ball. So to see where the ball is coming and to line it up with the backhand between the shoulders in front of the body with your body weight centered forward. The second step is to load your body weight onto your legs. This is a little bit different from the forehand. You can't play outside your shoulders, you're playing in front of your body, so the weight transfer is a little different. So this time you're loading your body weight onto your non-playing leg, so the opposite to your racket. As your body weight comes down and you bring your racket down towards your knee, this leg's gonna turn inwards. So it's a little bit of a downwards kind of corkscrew motion. So your body weight comes down onto this knee, but kind of twists inwards. So you're loading your body weight over this quad and, and through your glutes. The third step is to transfer that body weight towards the ball contact. So from this body weight down position with your racket dropped, you're going to push your body weight up through your quads and your hamstrings and your glutes, and you're gonna push up through here and into the ball contact. The fourth step, of course, is to make the contact and follow through. Again, making sure that your racket angle is a little more on the open side, and when you contact the ball, you're brushing through the ball contact. And then the follow through finishes around eye level, and then you're able to recover back into your ready position. There are a couple of important things to remember when you're making the backhand loop. The first one is to use your body weight to push up from underneath the ball. So as soon as you feel like you're pulling with your shoulder from above the ball contact, that's when you're gonna start making an incorrect technique. You have to push your body weight up from underneath the ball. The second thing is to make sure you're brushing the contact and not hitting the ball too directly. Remember, you want to create as much topspin as possible, and to do that, you need to brush through the ball contact. So the backhand loop, again, a very important technique in table tennis uh, for your foundations, and something that you should spend a good amount of time practicing and getting that core technique right. <laughs> 